What is an enzyme? Enzymes are biological catalysts that work to lower the activation energy for a reaction to take place. So how does an enzyme work exactly? For example, when food is eaten, mechanical digestion begins in the mouth where food is chewed and swallowed, proceeding down the digestive tract. As food enters the small intestine, it is saturated with enzymes. Here we can see the digestion of starch, which is the substrate the enzyme, known as amylase, works upon. An enzyme has a specific shape called an active site, and this is where the substrate binds to. Induced fit now occurs. The enzyme adjusts its shape to better fit the substrate and puts stress on the substrate, causing the bonds inside to break. The enzyme then releases the substrate as two new products, called maltose. It is not always released as two products, there could be any number. In this next example, we see how an enzyme can alter a substrate, and also what parts make up an enzyme. If you consume alcohol, your stomach will get to work digesting the ethanol using the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase. Enzymes are made of two parts, the large protein structure known as the apoenzyme, and the smaller variable molecules that form part of the active site, called cofactors. Organic cofactors are either coenzymes that are used up in the reaction, or prosthetic groups that are tightly bound to the enzyme. Inorganic cofactors can be things such as metal ion activators or iron sulfur clusters. In this case, our enzyme has both NAD+, a coenzyme, and zinc, a metal ion activator. Cofactors take part in the catalyzed reaction. As ethanol is converted into acetaldehyde, NAD+, is used, releasing NADH. 